Good morning, good morning. It's Heather. Let's see if we can um, get anybody in here today. I'm going to do some eBay research. I do just want to send a text message real quick while we have a couple people maybe pop in. I was um, a minute late, so I figured I'd just start the stream and let y'all know I'm here. I'm going to forward a contact over. So share contact message. Okay. iPhone takes forever to pull up the message. You know, when you try to text a picture and it just sits there. Okay, so we're sending it to her and him. So what's his name? A. Let's see, anybody here? Nope, everyone's still asleep. It is 8.18 a.m. here in Texas. <clears throat> here is the, is the contact info for Jason, he can answer any questions from here. Um, and what is needed for closing? As soon as he receives the CD, he will email us. Okay, I think I'm done. I've been waiting to send that text message since um, 7.20 this morning. And I was like, no, just wait till after 8 o'clock, Heather. So, <clears throat> okay, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Here I am. Okay. So we need to open the chat just in case. I'm actually kind of excited to do today's research because I've wanted to do this before. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. So click on the video, pause it, and pop out the chat. Hey, Maddie. <laughs> You're like me. I was in the Bearded Pickers video this morning, and I couldn't type either. The first word I typed, I had to retype it, too. <laughs> Pop out chat. Okay. And close that. We can bring our chatty waddy over here. Okay. I'm awake. All right. So some of you may know I have talked about this before, but there is an, a pink Avon brush. Okay. It's vintage. And no coffee yet, just OJ. Mm, that sounds so good. I've had too much coffee. Um, if you look at the real Avon brush, it sells for a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars. But they do make China replicas, so don't confuse the two. They're way two different, totally different products. However. I've never seen it in real person, except that my mom had one when I was a child. And my sister has mentioned it, that she wants to buy my mom one. So, here it is. We'll have to refine the search. Uh, so there's 84, if that's even the real one. Let me show you the solds, okay? So we're gonna go down here. 
uh, type in what you want in the search bar and of course on your desktop or your Mac, whatever, uh, you are going to scroll down to the left and hit solds. Again, I will tell you if you have an iPhone and you're only working on that, if you don't have a laptop, because I know I didn't one at one point, like three years ago. I never had a laptop till three years ago. Uh, if you need to do it on your cell phone, you will go to eBay, obviously go to the search bar, <clears throat> hit search. And then in your right hand top corner, there's a filter button that you can click, scroll in there and go to the bottom and there's a sold button that you can click to tell what things sell for on eBay. So here's our brush. We, I know for sure we're gonna just, cause I know it sells for over 50 bucks. I'm gonna put nothing pulling up less than $50. So you do have to hit the arrow. <clears throat> okay, so we're, we're not in the solds, are we? Okay, here we go, solds. Told you, 112, we got 89.99. I told my sister I would go halves with her on this. Um, I would like to get a new one. So maybe we can do this for Christmas for my mom. I don't know. We need to hurry and stop talking about this though because my mom is supposed to show up here at my house this morning. So we won't spend a lot of time, but wow, I didn't know that the gray one sold for 51. You have a brown one that is super fugly ugly. Why this brush sells so much? So the pink one, somebody asked me in a chat, well, why does it, why, what's so special? All I can tell you is that when my mom had it in the like 90s maybe or late 80s, I'm not quite sure, but I think, um, she loved it. it. My mom, it was her favorite brush. Like if we lost it, we got in trouble. So like it was like, like life or death, you know, like where the heck is my brush? Like I got to have my brush, like your toothbrush. So... Mysterium Lugosi says, I actually buy a face cream from Marshalls for $5 and I sell those on eBay and make $16 to $20 a piece. I use the product myself. That's how I knew it would sell. Yeah, if you love the product, more than likely someone else does too. Not always, but in my case, I tend to love fashion and stuff that trend and cool pieces that people always would love. So I'm a pretty good shopper. I've had friends tell me, well, I wish you'd go shopping for me and pick out my clothes, but I've never done it. So here's our brushes, you guys. I'm gonna click on these three because I did not know that there were more than just a pink one. It was all about the pinky. Okay, I'm gonna go to a meeting at 10. Um, okay, so now again, you have to keep in mind that there is a China maker or something like that that is selling knockoffs. So don't just think you can buy one of these on eBay and flip it and sell it for more. You do have to make sure it's real. I've already done the research on the pink one, and like I said, I repeat, there are fake ones, just like fake replica coach purses or whatever. Okay, so I actually had a brush or two, and it's not Avon, though. I never would have thought it would have sold. Lightly used, if at all. Non-smoke home. Offered as a vintage Avon Gray Flare hairbrush with black bristles. Hard to find. And then these with the freaking box or the packaging, like, wow. Who knew? Ooh, I like this one because it's got that marble look in it. Kind of whatever you want to call it, tie-dye marble. I don't know. 
If you know, let me know in the chat, please. Avon makes great products. I tracked down a discontinued $70 perfume personally. Thankfully, I've been lucky and found it before at a flea market. I borrowed it down to $3. Yeah, I see a lot of Avon perfume bottles donated at my pound store. And I always look them up and they're never worth anything. But, uh, what did I, oh, I have to cancel this order, you guys. And I'm going to do it while I'm on the phone with you, or on the phone, on the video. Like, I don't care if I take a flag, but eBay's done a lot of updatings um, on their listings. And so I listed this Christmas tree, and I um, I was going to use the S-W-E-A-R word, but, I mean, I can assure you that I had put calculated shipping on here, and it didn't click it. And I never checked it for like 10 days. And so I just sold a heavy item that would not even cover the shipping. So honestly, I don't care. I'm going to cancel the order. What else? Let's see. So all orders. I hate this new feature here. So <clears throat> let's see. Cancel order. Something was wrong with the no cancel order. At least it just now ended. So we'll send you a final vet and you can relist the item. So relist. Let's check the shipping real quick. Where did it say? So I did a auction. Seven days. I always do 10 days. Why did it do that? So best offer. Where's the shipping? See, it's it's on calculated, you guys. But then this was checked. Like, I didn't check free shipping. Freaking eBay. I don't care. I'm going to blame it on them. Um, <laughs> so I have it set calculated. Okay, priority mail. I have the weight, see, four to, it's like five pounds almost. Whatever. Okay, so screw it. It happens, right? Okay, so let's go back to our vintage Avon hair brush. I'm not done with that. Cha ching. Yeah, I wish. No, but I did sell that, um, it was that granite slash marble, um, I'll show you. I did sell, I'll hit the back arrow next time, the uh, knife sharpener, and I got a best offer for 65 plus the... Plus they uh, paid the shipping. So look, I made $78.65 on this bad boy. And I mean, it's a little heavy, but I got it at the pound store. So it, um, I mean, it cost me less than five bucks. So that is in the mailbox today. So I had it listed for 95 plus that. So that's awesome. It's okay. You win some, you lose some. You can't have it all, right? Okay, so back to our hairbrush. So we're going to go back to the $50 price just because I do want to see these top sellers. We're going to go back to the solds. Um, we might do this video to like 8.45. I don't know, maybe 9. It depends on how it goes. But hold on one second. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I had to get some energy, some juice, sugar. 
Did I miss any comments? I don't think I did. Okay, good. All right, so we didn't pull up that one a minute ago. So any kind of Avon brush apparently that's vintage. So check it out. You notice how <clears throat> I typed in the word, excuse me, I typed in the word Avon. Well, who else sells other than Avon for over 50? I don't know. Stanley. Ooh, that's ivory. I want to look at that, even though they got a best offer. Yeah, for real, these brushes. Like, if you came across this brush in the store, nine out of 10 times, like at a garage sale or a thrift store, people don't fool with brushes. They're like, ew, bielholz or cuckooies, you know, like bugs. No, no. There's no skin on here, or no skin. There's no uh, body parts here for any bugs to live off of. So they would have already taken off. The only thing you would need to worry about is grease. You know, it needs, and you can clean that with soap and water. Dawn dish show probably is easy. However, um, <clears throat> again, obviously these newer ones are going to sell for more. So these are mostly new. Let's click the used. There's only three, it says. Okay, never mind. We won't even click used then. Okay. How many people are awake? Whoa, seven. Good morning. Okay, so we got a wood brush. Stanley. So how come in the top three, if I have a vintage hairbrush, we don't have new or used? Why in the top five is Avon not pulling up for the $100 brushes? That kind of really makes me mad. I don't know. Results matching fewer words. Like, really? I put vintage brush. They didn't put hair. Look. Y'all see that? <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> oh, yeah, paintbrushes. Okay, this is too much info. I'm not done with the hairbrushes. Hold on. I mean, maybe I'm done, but I'm still looking here. So, Stanley, who is Stanley? <laughs> I don't know who Stanley is. Lady Catherine. Okay. Ew, it's got hair in it. <laughs> so gross, right? Shoot, I'll pick up a hairbrush any day for 60 or 50 bucks. Oh, wow, that's very cool. Oh, it's tortoise. I got to go add that to my listing right now. I was I have a Dooney and Burke purse listed, and it has a um, this orange and brown color, and I could not freaking remember what the big YouTubers call it. Like, it looks like one of your grandma's brushes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Goodness. Okay, I gotta log in. Smith forty one ninety. It probably was your grandma's brush. Oh, Lady Catherine, you're talking about? Yeah, I get it. I thought you were meaning like the Avon ones. Okay, there's my Dooney and Burke. So all I need to put is tortoise, right? Tortoise, T-O-R-T-O-I-S-E, right? O-I-O-O-I-S-E, tortoise. Duck, maybe? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, cool. So that's in my 
Poshmark closet. I added the little duck has a tortoise plastic duck logo. And again, I couldn't remember what it was called. So I hope I don't forget after today. Remember that popular word. Okay, I can't believe this may be best offer. I wonder what it sold for, but let's check this out. I wonder if it's like plastic. I think it is because that's what tortoise is. It's thinking more like glass, you know, but I don't think so. It's plastic. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So even a best offer was on a broken tooth one. Very interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so let's just take off the hair and we'll do the research on the brushes. We'll probably only do this video till 8.45. It's 8.38 a.m. I'm getting hungry and I've got quite a few things to do this morning. Okay, we're going fast. Let's see. Oh, look, it's like my bird bath. Oh my gosh, $102. It says it's jade, you guys. But you can't really tell. It's like a yellow green. Wow. China? Oh my God. I didn't know that would be jade. That's awesome. Is that an ashtray? Brush holder pot. Oh, interesting. Dang, those fry boots only sold for $62. <clears throat> well, that's cool. Sometimes we come across bulk stuff like this. It's good to know that vintage paintbrushes would bid up to, you know, a decent amount. I mean, I can probably ship all those in padded flat rate envelope maybe for like eight bucks, possibly, if not 14, 15. Wow, look at this one. It's a four piece though. Oh, it's sterling silver, Never mind. Oh, look at this rainbow vacuum. So they paid 50 bucks to ship it and $76 in bids. That thing is old. I've never even seen one of these. I've never seen this, have y'all? <laughs> this old vacuum. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Sterling silver. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check what the sterling silver looks like. <clears throat> Just seeing if y'all are still here with me. <clears throat> I wonder if it's engraved. Oh, it is, look, right here. But what is it even engraved? Oh, look, sterling. That's awesome. Love it. Here's some more paintbrushes. Well, that's cool. Oh, that was a buy it now. I don't want to look at that. Another vacuum. Dang. Dang, you guys. Oh my God, what the heck was that? 
scared the crap out of me. Hey, Thrifty Christy. I wonder what this oh, It's like my freaking death pile over here. Who was that? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Calligraphy pen. Vintage corkscrew. Whoa, look at the bit on that baby. Damn, Gina. Come to mama. Love it. <clears throat> I love finding old pieces like this and reserving, I mean, like preserving history. Look at that, got 52 bids on a ceramic shaving brush. I thought that was like a toothbrush holder. Oh, it's Old Spice. How fun is that? And so sanitary. I like it. I think my husband has stuff like that just laying on a dirty drawer or something. So gross. Okay, scrolled up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what is ICK? Oh, oh, okay. Looks like a weapon. Sheesh. <laughs> Dialysis day for the hubbies. So just happened to be up. All right. Well, I am so glad he's going to dialysis. I mean, going and taking care of it. I mean, you know, some people don't go. So good job that he's going. I'm sure it's tough. Look at these lot of Pooh Bear stuff. I always complain about not ever finding anything valuable with Pooh Bear. And I have to, okay, if there's anything I learned today, one, it's going to be this freaking Kanga and the baby one. I've seen it before and they sell for a lot of money. So these fugly looking, really old looking Pooh Bears are the ones that sell. But I keep always finding Pooh Bears in different forms and they never... Are worth a lot but I have seen this Kanga a lot or whatever you call this kangaroo I don't know their names there's Eeyore they do sell for good you guys this lot here sold for almost practically a thousand dollars very odd you'd find all of them together but you got owl rabbit Eeyore Pooh piglet all of them and it was a freaking bidding war, so you know. A germaphobe on the brush. <laughs> okay, so it was uh, anything I learned today. We do need to end it. It's 8.45. Um, I have so much jewelry to list. I'm going to try my hardest not well. <sighs> I really want to go to the pound store, but I don't need to go. Um, so I'm going to try to stay home as much as possible and list my jewelry. Um, and I just had to close that screen because I will just keep going and going. So still got to put on makeup for my meeting at 10, just a little bit. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the chat box or, um, yeah, I think it's called a chat box. Um, but I was going to finish what I was saying. If there's anything I learned today, it's that Pooh Bear set uh, froze on you. Oh, no. Um, that vintage Pooh Bear set. And then not only is the pink vintage Avon brush selling, but others are too. As well as, what was it, Lady Catherine? Um, then maybe the uh, vintage paintbrush lot. I think I've come across that sometimes. So yeah, 
All right. If you have any, again, tips or questions or comments, please leave it in the chat. I hope everyone has a great day. And thanks so much for hanging out. I can type it. Oh, y'all can see me typing, can't you? <laughs> Bye, guys.